difference. In the past few decades, we have seen a lot of progress when we look at the fight against discrimination and the rights of LGBTQIA plus people around the world. But there is still a long way to go. In many places, LGBTQIA plus people still face stigma, violence, and discrimination and are not able to reach their full potential. In some countries, for instance in Europe, we even see the situation going in the wrong direction. I want to remind everyone that there is no place for hate and that every person has the right to be themselves and to love who they want to love. I speak to you as a minister in the Belgian government today. Belgium is ranked second on the rainbow map that ranks European countries on their LGBTI equality laws and policies. But also in my country, the community encounters discrimination, even threats and attacks. It shows that there is a lot of work to do in our parliaments, in our streets and in our minds. So I would like this opportunity to highlight the hope and all the positive change that we have seen so far. This change has been possible because of so many people supporting each other, working together to change laws or raising awareness in our streets. Activists and parliamentarians, academics and allies, each of us can play a role to make change happen, especially if we join forces. And to those who hold the power to make a fundamental change, this is the time to do it. As a former parliamentarian, I would like to call on all of you parliamentarians to use your power to change our societies for the better. Thanks to the work of the United Nations Development Programme and Parliamentarians for Global Action, you have the tools to make this change happen. On a more personal note, we are mostly limited by the borders that other people have put on us and that we have made our own. To bring those down takes a lot of courage. It all begins with being true to yourself. Be true to yourself and the rest will follow. It took me half a life to get there. The other half is a gift. I try to stay true to myself as much as possible and this helps me in choosing what is right for me and what is not. I'm grateful for the opportunities and changes I am given. And I always keep in mind what the Dalai Lama once told me, never give up. He told it to me personally, but I would like to extend it to everyone watching this video, never give up. Thank you.